Hey guys and welcome back to another Ultimate Team 21 player review on the channel. If you'll enjoy this give it a like and do subscribe for some more. Um, I, my schedule can sometimes be a little bit haywire but I'll definitely get some more of these out. So I've been using this team with, for the Litmanen review and really got some good footage of one Lionel Messi. So I wanted to show you guys him even though I usually touch upon the icons. Um, I'm still sort of waiting for the primes to go down in the release of the icon moments but EA doing what they do, I've kind of kept the market going for now, so we're still waiting a little bit longer. So, one Lionel Messi. So when I bought him, it was 298,000, but at the moment you can get him for around 200 to 220. Um, so I've used him for around about 82 games. He's got 46 goals and got 32 assists, four star skill moves, four star weak foot, and medium low work rates. Now the low defensive work rate is good, because we'll see soon with his attributes, his stamina can become a bit of an issue. But don't let the stats in the game fool you. He has been absolutely magnificent for me and an absolute game changer. Now onto the stats. So I've put Hunter on him for the main reason that he does need a bit of a pace boost. Uh, but with that, he'll get 99 acceleration and 90 sprint speed, which is more than enough. As you can tell, his shooting stats are absolutely fantastic. Hunter just improves them a little bit more. He's already got incredible long shots, so you don't have to worry about Hunter not affecting those. Uh, and his passing is also mighty fine as well. Um, and the dribbling, there's no really much more to say. Is the 72 stamina can be a bit of a problem, so I would recommend making sure he doesn't come back on defence and things like that, so he's not tiring himself out too much. Now there's two traits I want to have a look at here, and that's finesse shot and outside foot shot. Both of them are absolutely fantastic traits and improve the effectiveness of those shots tenfold. And having both of them means that he's in a pretty good position, no matter what, to take a fantastic shot. And you'll definitely see that finesse shot trait has always been a favourite of mine. And there's a very good reason for it. His shooting is absolutely phenomenal. I don't think there's ever a time where he gets the ball in front of goal and I think he's going to miss it. The keeper got a good save there from coming across and he still gets the ball in the back of the net. If you get Messi in front of goal, it is going in. Exactly like it is in real life. And sometimes it doesn't even need to be a good position like that. Bit of an awkward angle, still launches it over the keeper coming out. He's always in the right position to make an incredible play on the ball. And as always, he'll find the back of the net. Left foot or right foot. Four star weak foot is incredible. Does not feel like it at all. It feels like a five. There's nothing to worry about with that weak foot there. His finishing really is absolutely incredible when you combine it with cutting inside a lot. Now, many people will obviously guess that you're going to use the uh, left foot with Messi, but with his dribbling you can sort of open up space and with his good positioning he'll create the space himself and you've always got a chance to score a goal with him. It doesn't, And it doesn't matter if he is on his right foot, he'll still score them. You know, a lot of these are finesse shots as well as I previously mentioned. They are absolutely incredible for him. I think the mix of the long shots, the curve and the finishing that he's got just means that he can hit some absolutely incredible shots, which you'll start to see here. And he can really open space up his really tight touch means that it's dead easy for him to get a shot away once he's beaten a man. As soon as there's a tiny bit of space, just hit shoot. Because it's probably going to go in. He sends keepers flying constantly. It is scary the amount of times that someone's brought their keeper out just a tiny bit. Finesse, bang, top corner. It really is almost like a cheat code. And yet we are getting to that stage of the game where players who are just their normal base card aren't incredible. But let's be honest, this guy's messy. He's a bit of an exception. He's absolutely unreal. And now that these sorts of cards aren't as popular anymore, they're going down in price. But it's not just the shooting he can do. He can definitely pass as well. This one I really enjoy because it's just a fantastic weak foot cross right to Larson's foot. His passing always seems inch accurate. It never seems to go the wrong place. That one there for Littmanen, a perfect header. And... There's many ones like this, which you'll see in a sec, where he just places it in the perfect position for Hazard to just finesse it straight in. It feels like he's always got that perfect pass on. This one was just ridiculous. I felt like I was getting cornered, pinged the ball up the field, and it's straight to Larson for a perfect pass. He can't finish it off, but Littmanen can. To put it simple, pass the ball, and it will go exactly where you want it to go. And this was one thing I wanted to show you guys. His free kick is out of this world. If you put it right in that top corner and just put enough power in it, three and a half bars maybe, you don't even need to use curve. 
it will go in that top corner. And it is absolutely incredible to use a player like him who's so good on the ball, so good off the ball. But to summarise, pace I found very, very usable with Hunter. Um, it's not incredible, you're not going to blitz past people like Mbappe does, but it's more than enough. You don't really need any more than that, unless you're really, really, really bad with the pace of using. Uh, his shooting, incredible. Recommend it fully, 100%. If it was just the shooting alone, to be honest, if he couldn't dribble or pass, I'd say the shooting's incredible on its own. His passing is absolutely fantastic. We'll always find the man. I very rarely actually struggle to find the man with him. If you find someone open, he'll get it to him. Even Littman when he was covered in that foot chance game I showed, still managed to get it to him right on his head for the goal. His dribbling is absolutely incredible. It is so tight, so smooth. And just so, it's so, so easy. I struggle to really dribble with players a lot on recent FIFAs, but Messi makes it absolutely easy as cake. Anybody can dribble with him. Now, his physical obviously isn't the best. He can get knocked off the ball, uh, but his balance does kind of counteract that. Um, but obviously his stamina is an issue. I would recommend making sure he come, doesn't come back on defending. And I would also make sure that you don't really have him in a massively... Um, demanding role I would make sure that you know he's not always sprinting into the box and he's not always sprinting around all the time he can play a free role that's fine but just try to limit him a little bit but with that with the uh, you know not going back on defense I think it should be more than enough to counter out that lack of stamina defending I don't think we really need to talk about that really if you're using Messi for defending you're using him wrong um, but value at the moment as we uh, record this on the 13th of March, I would 100% say that Messi is incredible value for money. You know, at just over 200k, he is an incredible player and he can definitely change a team if you don't have a player of his calibre already. Overall, definitely give it just shy of a 10 because obviously at this point in the game, there are better players around. You've got icon moments, you've got certain future stars, you've got uh, even some of these what if cards are looking pretty tasty at the moment. There will probably be better players than him, you know, the special cards. But if you've got a spare 200 odd K, I'd definitely try and put this guy in your team because he is special, incredibly special. That's it for now. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like and do subscribe for some more. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.